Hi, happy Thursday. Hope you're all right, you've had a nice day. Go and get a drink. I've got a large coffee. I need a really big one today. <laughs> I mean, but... <laughs> I've spilt all of the um, coffee down it. I got a bit heavy-handed, but I've whipped this one out. You know, from the old Chazo. I got this last year, I think, or the start of this year. So I thought, right, here's the season and all that jazz. You know, and I need a big one. I've been cleaning all day. Like, I've gutted upstairs. I've hoovered the mattresses, stripped the bed in, done the doors, done everything. And I've had a nice shower. Because I fucking stunk, to be honest. I was like, right, I'd create the right sweat on. I washed my hair with that Redken stuff, you know. It's brilliant. Second time I've used it. Amazing, honestly. Oh, I got some on my lip. I got the colour protecting one, and honestly, like it's left my hair so soft. And these fucking ends, how glad am I to have got these off? You know, I was clinging on to like dead air for so long because I just wanted that little bit of length. And honestly, so better off without it because they're gone and my hair feels so healthy. The healthiest it's ever felt, to be honest. It's so soft, and I don't know if it's that shampoo because I've always thought shampoo was shampoo, you know. And, you know, I use the argan oil one, which is brilliant. But this, I don't know, my hair just feels amazing. So, yeah, it was a quid off, innit, I got them ones. Like, little travel size. The vibrancy of the red didn't last too long. So, yeah, every time I wash my hair, it just comes out. But it's kind of, like, gone dark with, like, bits of red, you know. So I am going to try, I think it's the L'Oreal. Um, there's a L'Oreal one. I can't remember what it is. I think it begins with an M. And some at contrast, I think it is. I don't know. What, I don't know which one it is. But I'm going to look into that one because everyone said it goes over dark really well. So, but don't get me wrong, I love the colour. My roots are gone as well, you know. So yeah, just having that little air caught and just sticking a colour on has made me feel amazing, you know. And my brows, my brows. This is day two. All right, I ain't got them wet or anything. Like I've tilted my head back in the shower, but they're scabbing over a little bit now. But um fucking amazing honestly i'm obsessed with them as i went to do my makeup i was like oh shit i ain't gotta do my brows i can't go draw them on so yeah just obsessed with them you know steve likes them as well the kids are just like they look like how you drew <laughs> how you drew them on like they do you know what i mean they're not interested like so yeah they're just like whatever mum. but um yeah i definitely feel great for having them done um so yeah i feel like they've really framed my face you know, because I was drawing one up here, one down there, like half time, I looked like I was frowning. But yeah, this is day two. So they are going a little bit scabby. I'm going to put a bit of balm on later. Apparently, I'm going to lose quite a bit of colour. So a few people last night in the comments, you were saying about um, that I've had it done. You know, that's the best thing you've ever done. And I can honestly understand why. Just not having to think about them, you know, and drawing them on or where's my brow pencil or, you know, and do you know what I mean? So, yeah well chuffed with them but um anyway this is going to be bloody cold as always i had a text off steve Liz oh just burped <laughs> just burped then don't mind that liz trust resigns lol lol yeah what a shit show honestly what an absolute shit show just watching it you know when you're watching the news i mean i try not to watch the news because i just can't be arsed with the shit you know i do watch it like i'm up to date with you know what's going on and stuff but i try not to just like there's just so much shit sometimes and it can really like you think fucking hell do you know what i mean like you just can't be doing with it so i just switch it off but anyway i have started my christmas shopping so i went to entertainer and i was well shocked i found this little section of um space jam stuff and mason is massive on basketball all right he loves space jam in fact he was watching it the other day he yeah he's obsessed with it so he records all the basketball games on telly and stuff and he sits watching it and every time Mason was walking through the living room or something, I keep, I'm really sorry, I'm a bit windy, I am. Hang on, bear with me. Um, right, <laughs> there we go. We're all safe, all right. It's coming out this then, all right, I'm not sharted or out. Fucking hell. I didn't, the other day, I didn't shoot myself. It was close, all right, it just fell a bit off. But um, anyway. <laughs> yeah he um when he walks through the house he's always like pretending to like shoot basketballs and stuff and he uses my head as well 
pretend it's like a basketball hoop and he'll run up to me and pretend to like just pretending like there's nothing in his hand and he'll like jump up and grab me head and be like pretending to shoot basketballs and wake me head but um, yeah that's mason for you so when i see in this section i was like wow i yeah this so, it was so cheap i love the entertainer because i think it's so affordable like they've just got so many different things in there like you've got your baby section your toddler section and then they've got all the things for the older kids minecraft marvel you know among us what else have they got like just do you know what i mean all of the themed stuff i went in and i was just like oh my god so my kids collect plushes and i thought right we're gonna, i'm gonna run out of space for plushes and stuff but they collect theme ones so tyler has the fnaf set and he has like the among us set and stuff like that and there's another one that he wants I can't remember what it is. I'm trying to think what it is. It's in my notes anyway. Nothing I've heard of. I think because, you know, every so often, like, a new thing pops up, doesn't it? So, like, with the gaming and that. So, yeah, something to do with that. But, yeah, these were £6.66 each, I think. The receipts in here. Yeah, so the plushes, £6.66. This didn't have a price. So I took it up to the till, because the other stuff had prices. But I took it up to the till, and I couldn't believe it. I was expecting this to be about 15 quid, 15, 20 quid. You know, I know it's just a tedder, but you know, because it's like Space Jam and stuff, when they theme it, that's where it... Um, oh, my phone's going off. That's where, like, it adds up, doesn't it? So, yeah, I couldn't believe it. So I've got this one. And then, right, LeBron James... Mason is going to be over the moon, honestly. He's going to be so happy with them. They were both £6.66. So, yeah, he's going to be so happy. This one was £5. So it is a, um, like, Space Jam figure playset. So you've got LeBron James, um, some other characters, Bugs Bunny and whatnot, and their little like platforms and that so which are like half basketballs so i grabbed them and i got a little figure as well which was a fiver i think it's amazing you know so yeah my kids like collecting stuff like that so tyler has got like a shelf with all like his little collectibles and that I and mean, they like star wars as well so they've got a little shelf like a little corner shelf with like star wars figures on and stuff and then one of them's like minecraft got like tiny little minecraft figures and stuff but um yeah, they quite like collecting stuff and because steve does as well like steve is a mad collector of like rare pokemon cards and figures and marvel and like figures and that um i mean i've yeah i've got a whole shelf here full of i mean what's that say spell meet me to zoo there's the pokemon stuff um sack boy star wars like because steve's into collecting stuff like Groot. um the kids love it because they all like, do you know what I mean? Chat about what they're getting and collecting and stuff. So, yeah, and showing stuff. And Steve will quite often have a clear out and give the kids anything, you know, that he's probably outgrown or not outgrown. <laughs> Steve's a big kid, put it that way. But I mean, like, you know, that he's not into as much anymore. So, yeah. And then I got Mason this. Um, he's going to love this. So, this was. £6.66 so it's a like little figure set and that is so cheap like I couldn't believe that so he's going to be so I just I didn't even think to get Space Jam stuff I was just going to get like basketball related gifts you know and then I seen this and I'm like oh my god I've got other stuff in there as well that's quite cheap it's definitely worth a look I really like Entertainer because it's a bit out of the way you know I don't really go so yeah I was quite shocked really got the TK Maxx bag I love TK Maxx they're reducing all of their Halloween stuff, so they don't just have stuff that, like, they have stuff that you can have out all year, you know, and, like, spooky stuff, and I think it's amazing. So they've got a lot of, um, there wasn't much, but a lot of their, like, loads of stuff were reduced at TK Maxx. I know it's always, like, on sale down TK Maxx, like, you can get a bargain, but, yeah, a lot of their homeware stuff was reduced, so, yeah, I'll show you all all these bits so dog toy as always this was three quid so yeah, it's a little halloween dog toy so um yeah got that and then my halloween decorations are up they are up so i mean i'll show you my door 
So, hang on. Bear with me. Right, this is me door. So, that clown I got from Home Bargains. Um, I've got a thing in the window, which at night looks really cool. It's like it's all lit up. Um, and I've got like some pumpkin bunting and stuff. So, not like gone crazy, but like there's quite enough up, you know, and I'm gonna make sure there's plenty of sweets for the kids and that when they knock on the door at trick-or-treating and that. Um, but I got this, this was reduced to fiver. So I got this, um, Happy Halloween, is that the right way? Yay, no, it's not. <laughs> Happy Halloween, really like heavy duty, big um, front door mat. But, oh fuck, I've oovered everywhere and this has gone everywhere. The oovers at the top of the stairs still actually, so I'll just whip it out again. But yeah, this is, a, it's making me feel weird actually. But yeah, we're only a five or, you know, and it's a big heavy duty one. I want the little Wayne one. Have you seen it? It's got like a picture of little Wayne and then some lyrics and stuff. And then the last few bits, so I've got a candle. This is a Christmas one. So this was £3.49. It's got like a little gold lid as well. I love TK Maxx candles, they're my favourite. This is the Cinnamon Allspice. Oh, it smells amazing, you can't smell it. I don't know why I'm pointing it there. But yeah, this little candle, £3.49, really strong. I always think TK Maxx candles are really strong. Oh, I feel a bit, a bit burpy. I got this mug, look. This was reduced. It's a really big mug, look. And it was four pound, look. And it's got like a little skull there and look at that. So yeah, it's printed on both sides and then with like the orange um, rim. And then the one Steve got, the Steve got a mug as well, is this one. And that was again, four pound. So that's proper cool. So yeah, they're gonna be the morning mugs. I am gonna put them away. Um, I might go on the hunt for some more Space Jam stuff actually. I don't know, maybe some more plushes. Yeah, as always my friends, don't let any dickheads get you down, will ya? All right, know your worth. Okay, you're fucking amazing. And just remember this world is full of cunts, all right? Absolute big fat fucking bellens, all right? That will try and drag you down, okay? And make you feel shit. There's people that will try and put their big shitty energy onto you, all right? As a reflection of them, okay? It's nothing to do with you, all right? People hate to see people doing well. Okay, people hate it, all right? So own it, all right? Be the best version of yourself. Big fucking middle finger to anyone, all right? That gets in your way. I swear by this, honestly. Big energy always, all right? Own who you are, do what the fuck you want, okay? Just own it, all right? You do you, always, okay? Just without the fear of judgment, all right? I love y'all and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.